the Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company presents the Schlitz Playhouse of Stars. Mr. Kona this morning. Arrested? Why? Treason, espionage. Mr. Stanton, everything you said, it's happening. Stay in Paris. But I've got my ticket. I'm leaving tonight. Don't. Ever since you left, I've been followed. Last night, I found some papers in my apartment. Papers? Military documents. They were planted. It... <laughs> But the cab is free. Get on, Jeff. I'll take you. Thanks. But I don't believe I place you. We've never met. Just wait here, driver. Close your window. My name's Harry Thorne. You're Jeff Stanton. You've got a textile business in Ludens. The last four hours, you've been trying to find out about your secretary, Betty Smith. The State Department couldn't help you, or the military attache, or the embassy. I can. Interested? What about Betty? Cafe Pigal, driver. I'm sorry. There were easier ways to break it to you, I guess. There's no point in lying. She's dead. Just can't believe it. Who are you? Just an American like yourself. You'll have to trust me. Go on. She was picked up by two MVD agents for questioning. She had a bad heart. I know. The Ludens police say she just disappeared, probably a robbery victim. What's your purpose in telling me all this? To stop you from going back. They want your textile business, and they're going to get it. Your plant, equipment, patents, everything. But I've got commercial agreements, contracts. Just so much paper. They've already arrested your office manager, Mr. Kona, for treason. Miss Smith was the second step. You're next. Look, I'm going back to Ludens. Nothing you can say or they will do is going to stop me. What are you going to do, make a frontal attack on MVD headquarters? No, you'll lose. If you really want to accomplish your purpose, there is something practical you can do. Like what? The people in Ludens are sick of the new order. A few of them are doing something about it. They need help from the Western world, and it's being given to them. The underground. Belonging to it is bad enough, but running it, well, it's just a matter of time. And time's run out for the key man in Ludens. They caught him? No, but they're close. We've prepared forged identification. He's got an even chance to escape. But the papers are here in Paris. Sugar, that's his code name, is in Ludens. You want me to take them to him? No protection, no pay. Not even a taste of glory, Mr. Stanton. Would you like to talk while I finish packing? You can buy me a steak when I get back. Okay? Okay.
Mademoiselle Stanton? That's right. And who are you? Jane Minster, Mr. Stanton. Mr. Corner hired me yesterday morning. Oh, I see. You, uh, you know what has happened? Partially. Perhaps you can fill the rest in for me. The local police was here asking questions. They say she was kidnapped. What do you say? I'm sorry, Mr. Stanton. I uh, finish putting things away, huh? Then I go. Uh, Miss Ministry, I, uh, I'm sorry. I don't want you to go. I'll need your help until Betty comes back. Yes, Mr. Stanton, till she comes back. Yes? Mr. Stanton? That's right. Igor Reichel, Department of Commerce. I intended to meet you at the airport, but I was delayed. Well, that's quite all right. I know my way around Luton. So I understand. Oh, my secretary, Miss Minstry. I saw your name on the labor sheet in my office. Yes, sir. I'll come back later. Miss Minstry, uh, you come from Kiev, is that right? Six months ago. Is that where you met Mr. Corner? Ah, uh, no, Mr. and Mrs. Corner. Yes, huh? He said if ever I come to Ludens, I should see him. Naturally. And give you a job. <sighs> you know about your office manager. Yes. Has the news reached the Department of Commerce? Party efficiency. The left hand must always know what the right is doing. It seems the left has been rather busy in Ludens lately. Mr. Stanton, I must be frank. Mr. Corner was arrested for treason. Your own position is therefore jeopardized. Just what does that mean? If you can't stay in Ludens, you'll want to protect your investment. I have some friends who might buy your business. Naturally, you couldn't expect the profit. Oh, I see. Did you have a price in mind, Mr. Rykoff? You'd have to check your books. Guessing, I should say, $50,000. That isn't 10 cents on the dollar. Better than no sense, Mr. Stanton. I'll think about it. Well, let me know. About Mr. Corner, I would like to help, but I have so many commercial problems, like the matter of your company. Goodbye, Mr. Stanton. I've been worried. Rudy, what happened to Betty? Uh, I don't know. The police were here today asking about her. Oh, when did you see her last? Yesterday afternoon. Did you see her leave? No. Do you know where she went? No. What are you afraid of, Rudy? Mr. Stanton, you shouldn't have come back. It's too dangerous for you, for all of us. Rudy, what are you afraid of? Not of dying. I'm an old man. Pain, suffering, tortures, these things I could not stand. Mr. Stanton, I'm going back to the country. I know I should stay here and help you, but I am afraid. It's all right. I won't be in Ludens long. Be careful. Do what you can for your business, then get out of Ludens. That's the second time I've heard that today. Scared. Uh, so am I. You know who Rykov really is? I've got an idea. MPD, secret police. How did you know? Please don't ask me questions. For saying just this much people in my country have simply disappeared. Just believe me. Get out of Ludens now, tonight if possible. If only you had listened to... To Barry Smith? Yes, I know. Mr. Kona hired me to take Betty's place. He begged her to go to Paris while there was still a chance, but she would not listen. What do you hope to accomplish? 
I had to come back. Would you mind having dinner with me tonight? Aren't you afraid, knowing that they suspect me? What about me? I'm used to risks. Shall we say 7.30? <laughs> It's too late. Ben, this minister, may I buy you a drink? Well, we were just leaving. And I'll buy you the coffee. Well, we're quite late. I'm sure you can spare five minutes. your overcoat, Stanton. I don't know what you're talking about. You brought something from Paris for Rudy Petronov. What was it? Nothing. Rudy's a janitor. He works.
works and runs the Luden's underground. He's the man you call Sugar, isn't he? Isn't he? I don't know. You take punishment well, Mr. Stanton. But we haven't even started. <coughs> Enough. That up, they won't be able to talk. You can still write. Don't you prove, comrade? The Central Committee sent you here. I assume you know what you're doing. Get some water. Can you hear me, Sam? How long have you been a spy? I'm not. You're headquartered down in Paris. The main office of my business is in New York. Your business is a front for espionage. Then why did you try and steal my plan? What the rank do you hold in the American Army? Captain, reserve. In intelligence. Signal corps. You're lying. Yes, put him up. You were great. I never figured. Not I. You fooled me completely. Right off, yes. Yes, yes. What did you say? You're positive? I see. No, no. Bring the people concerned to my office. What is it? Rudy Petronov. He's gone. Escaped. Where? Airplane to Paris, right under our noses. Forged identification, that's what Mr. Stanton has in his coat. Can you prove it? You understand exactly what you have done. I hope so. That's why I came back. I've got what I want. Have you? We've got you. You haven't got Rudy. You can't afford to lose him. How will you explain it to the big boss? By your confession? That I passed an overcoat to Rudy while you were in the same room. She was sitting beside me. What difference does it make? He said enough. Be quiet, please. Rudens was your district. You were in charge. Until you got here? Because the matter of sugar became too big for you? A little large for you, too, wasn't it? Who's left holding the bag, Rykov? You or Yena? Don't you see? He'd like to have us quarrel. We'll take it out of you, Stanton. When we are finished, you will talk and write and act exactly as we say. It was complicated, comrade. I'm sure you'll understand how Petronov was able to escape. Yes, yes, she was. No, but I can explain when you get here. Yes, comrade. Comrade Tenko is flying to Ludens. We must be sure our things are in order. We? Oui. This is your responsibility. And yours? It would be embarrassing if our stories do not coincide. My story will be the truth that is the part they act in. I have already written the report. It's accurate. All you have to do is confirm it. What about his confession? I've written that too. I'll arrange for more talking. Mr. Stanton, listen to me. I can save your life. 
to sign this confession. At your trial, I testify you were not actually engaged in espionage. I think I'd believe you. If we can force you, you can't take much more of that. This way it will be a personal victory for me, and I guarantee to help you. Untie my hands. Good. Very good. I suggest you get some sleep. Come and I think we will be here in three hours. I'll take care of him. We can all get some sleep. You're a smart man, Mr. Stanton. You aren't. I have your confession. One of them. I signed two confessions for you. She didn't have a copy. That's right. She wrote her own versions. You'd like to divide us. You already are. Not just you and Yena, but everybody in your government. Afraid of one another, suspicious. What do you expect to gain by this? Not me, Yena. She's gonna hang it on you. When Comrade Tinko gets here, you're it. Going to call her? It's not very smart. Why don't you just look in her purse? Cannon, watch him. Get up. It. What good will it do you? I'll get to that in a minute. What about you? I'll take care of Comrade Yena. I'm not so sure. I thought it was your idea to pressure me out of Ludens when she wanted to arrest me for espionage. That's not true. What's the penalty for dropping the ball behind the Iron Curtain, Rykov? Time's running a little short, isn't it? I have a shot. You'll be lucky to save your own neck. It's my word against hers. Hers and mine. Stop lying. If you intended to support her, you wouldn't have told me about this. I would to save my own life. Save your life. I can do three things, Rykov. First, save your life. Second, save mine. Third, throw the whole thing in Yena's hands. I don't believe you. And something else. Insurance against the day the walls start closing and the day you don't cheer the boss loud enough or you rough up the wrong man with the right connections. Get through. Scared. No friends. No place to run. And then... And Rudy needed help, my country paid off. I'm guaranteeing you the same deal. What do you want, Stanton? First, I want to write another confession, my own. Second, I want a courier plane to Paris within an hour. Why, what possible reason could I have for sending a plane? Make it up. Come on, Rykov. Get on the phone. Why did you wake me? I thought Comet Tinko was here. In a minute, Dana. The plane is at the airport and the car outside. I'll get the dispatch case. Are you sure this special plane was necessary, comrade? Plane? What are you talking about? You said you ordered a courier plane for Paris. He's ready to leave. I didn't order a plane. More lies? No use, Dana. Stanton has already confessed. I know. I got it from him. Comrade. You're a witness. Luden, September 7th. I, Jeffrey Allen Stanton, an American citizen, do confess that acting with and aided by a member of the Luden's underground, Jena Minster, no. did organize and implement espionage and sabotage within this state. That's a lie. You're under arrest. Put your hands off me, it's a lie. There is no use protecting. You're a traitor. Raise your hands. All of you. I'm sorry, Yena. After all you've done for me, I wish I could take you with me. But my orders from Paris were to leave you. He's lying. Don't you understand? Rykov's lying. They're working together. Do something. You. Where's your identification? In my pocket. Never mind. Take your coat off. Throw it down. All right. In the closet. All of you. Move. You'll never get away with this. I tell them. I prove it. Later. Inside. 
I want a steak like this. Make it two. Three. <laughs> There's a big room and a nice soft bed waiting for you when you finish that. Wake me up when you find out what happened to Rykov, will you? Oh, we already know. The first report, he's practically a national hero. For capturing Yena. Yes. Rykov sold him on the idea that Yena was really sugar and that Rudy just worked for her. You know, I've got a hunch you'll go far. Well, we hope so. Because Rudy's going back after some plastic surgery. And with what he knows about Rykov, Rudy thinks they may turn out to be very good friends. Thank you.